Okay, kids, welcome back to the shop. Today, we are gonna make a fixture plate for the rotary table. Uh, and I have to make a mounting pin. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn a number two Morse taper that goes down into here. I will thread this end, drill a hole in the fixture plate, screw the fixture plate onto the mounting pin, stick it onto the rotary table, and then use countersink screws and the T-nuts to secure it to the table. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna turn a number two Morse taper. It'll be 1.4 degrees. This end will be point 572 this end will be 0 0.700 I believe I need to be under a little bit um, but we're going to start at this number here um, I'm going to have a stud stick out it's going to be a half inch nominal size um, for threading the max will be 0 0.985 and the minimum is point four eight two two i'm shooting for a half inch we can always turn it down that's so so close i turned the entire rod down to 0 0.700 inches this will be the big end of the taper guys I got to take over a quarter inch off of this side that's going to be the small end of the taper I have my compound set at 1.4 degrees remember to lock the carriage and only use the cross line and the compound Point five seven two point five seven two and that's exactly what we need. Point five seven two. According to the dimensions, according to the mics here, we're we're spot on. So next we're going to turn down this half inch uh, nominal. I turned down the threaded end to just under a half an inch. Inadvertently, I turned an hourglass. Nice. say that's good I trimmed it up on the saw it looks pretty good let's see how we did oh yeah fits good so I have a little bit of a lip here which makes sense because remember uh, according to all the documentation the Morse taper is supposed to be point seven zero and that's what I turned this to but when we measured this here it was 0 0.68 so I'm gonna take it back to the lathe and just turn this down a little bit more because I want that flush I'll tell you what <laughs> look at that that thing fits great wow look at that I'm gonna have to tap it out man I'm very happy with that so hopefully you guys got something out of that at least I'm going to have to tap that thing out. All right, that looks really good. It's sitting flush. Now we need to uh, tap this. Or we're going to put a die on this and uh, thread this stud. I'm really happy with that. All right, 
guys. So I need to tap this now, or I need to thread it with a die, and I need to figure out some way of holding it. Well, if I did what I was supposed to do, which was turn a number two Morse taper, this should have enough friction to hold it in place while I run a die onto it. Does that make sense? The rotary table couldn't hold it, so I took it to the vise. What I found out was I started the die crooked, and you can watch me destroy the part. <sighs> Who didn't see that coming? Trying to tap this turned out to be a disaster. See how it's bent, and I. Uh, kind of marred up the uh, taper. So I made this one for my good friend the trash can. What I'm going to do next time is I'm going to turn this down to the .70, turn this to .50. Then uh, we're going to run a die on this and then we will turn the taper. Because the problem I had was I couldn't uh, hold this steady with the taper and I tapped it crooked so well again just like the other videos I know how to turn a taper I just need to execute the rest of the uh, project